Hello guys and welcome back. This is the last fact sheet Friday because Farm Sim is out on Monday night. Monday night, yes, Monday night, Tuesday morning. Um, depending on where you live, so I should have the release times. But before I get to that, um, all the info is up on their side. Everything's going to be in the game is on this link. It'll be in the description. And um, my plan is I'm going to download the game at eleven o'clock GMT and. It's going to be downloaded for like half 11, quarter to 12, and I'm going to be streaming then, and I'm going to be on an open server. And uh, you're free to join me if you're around, and uh, just pop in and you'll see what's happening. So the release times are, you're going to have to convert this to your own time zone, whatever. Um, so for PC, so PlayStation, it's midnight local time, um, 20th of November. Uh, for Europe and for the Americas, it's all one. It's all there. You can read yourself, sure, damn it. Um, if you want to figure out what time that is to you in your time zone, just type in 11 o'clock GMT or whatever one you're running, whatever system you're running, Xbox or PlayStation. Type it in 11 o'clock GMT into to whatever your time zone is into Google and it'll start you out, basically. Moving on from that. And um, we've got the last three fact sheets. So we've got a K sexy flow ninety two forty. Uh, it's gonna cost four hundred twenty thousand six hundred horsepower, fourteen thousand liter tank, grain tank. Um, which seems to be bigger than the ideal combine. I thought that was only fourteen hundred. It's kind of odd. I thought that's like supposed to be the biggest combine there is basically. Anyway. You can change the wheel brand, the wheel setup, you get standard and wide tires, no tracks. What? That's odd. There's tracks in the picture. There's tracks in the picture and it's not mentioned here. Right, we'll, we'll go with that. And it's a combine, it combines what combines combine. And it comes with a 45 foot header. Next we've got the Case Magnum series, uh, ranges from 400. To 435 horsepower, very narrow range there. Um, 320,000 for it. Uh, 50k. You can change the wheel setup and the engine setup. It comes with practically all the wheels. I'm just gonna say all the wheels. And the Kinsey grain cart. It's gonna cost 74,000. It's gonna call it hold 37,000 liters of grain, and it can come with wheels white tracks and crawler tracks and wheel brand and wheel setup so I know that there's some there's a lot of trailers actually and grain carts and whatever else that you can actually change the capacity like I know the very first trailer you get is um, just like the really small one you can take the sides off it completely in the shop or in your own garage if they still have that in the game I haven't heard about it you can just go in and modify it so it's a bale trailer or it's a tipping trailer or a really large tipping trailer. Relatively speaking. And it holds all the grains. Seed and I think that's fertilizer as well. So it can be used as a seed tender. And then we've got the Challenger MT700 series. Ranges from 380 to 430 horsepower. Got to cost 390,000. Um... Oh, that's interesting. So, you can change the inch setup and the wheel setup. I do 40k, unfortunately, but I think they all do 40k. Them track tractors. And you can get standard, or you can get the 3 meter wide track. So, what that basically does is, here the tracks are tucked underneath the tractor. And uh, if you get the 3 meter tracks, it widens the stance of the tractor. So, these tracks will be just outside the mud guard. Uh, oops. That's a very common thing in... Um, uh, Australia I heard that they use a lot of 3 meter wide um, equipment it's kind of like their standard over there and it'd be more common in America too and then you've got the Amazon uh, what's that? Is it ripper or not a ripper um, cultivator and I've got 68,000 is going to need 400 horsepower it is 8 meters wide Another interesting thing, rippers are in the game, so they've actually really split up the tra the shop uh, this time around. So there's like small, medium and large for some categories and uh, 
disc harrows and cultivators are split up I know that much and we've now got plows and um, and uh, I just said a minute ago uh, subsiders so uh, a ripper or whatever you want to call them I suppose as well are they called um, so basically you can use them instead of a plow which is really handy uh, because plows are just a bit awkward really that's about it moving in over here to the official site we've got the maps up so we've got uh, oh, I hate pronouncing these German words Felsburn and I did look that up that is how it, it's pronounced as best as I can do so and uh, this is the is it the European and yeah this is the European map yeah and we don't get a very good look at it to be honest we only get looks at the towns and stuff and this is actually the place where the first one of the first screenshots was taken uh, on that dock I believe actually now that I see it and then we have Ravenport which the, is the American map which I really like the look of more than the, Amer the European map which is odd um, it doesn't look very American only for the flags all over the place and little bits and pieces other than that it's just a normal map with pretty big views only and that's about that so going into equipment this is going to take a long time Agco was long since finished uh, is that new? I don't know anymore they were finished uh, Fint so we've got our old 5 series 3 series 7 9000 900 Vario do we not have a 900? Oh, we do we have a 900 and a 900 MT and 1100 MT got a big Fint weight and the wagon uh, Fiat have only got this old tractor which is one of the starting equipment on the easy preset so uh, there's not enough time it's going to take me ages to go through all the presets but basically um, you've got your stay you're kind of the same easy normal and hard but they're, the way they start out is completely different and easy you get I'm really lost now <laughs> wait what that wasn't there before what's that oh that's that super trailer um, and easy you get all your equipment and the market's good the prices are high on normal you don't get it you get a load of money but you don't get any farm buildings or tractors or fields you have to buy everything and, on, and the market is normal and on hard you don't get a lot of money and you don't get any equipment fields or whatever so this is the big American planter oh the Great Plains so 18.2 meter working width so that's like the big American corn seeder and the gold hopper is back which I really didn't like it's too low to the ground and it's going to be problematic Holmer is back There's just so much stuff for me to go through it. Uh, it's just, I don't even know where to begin anymore. And all the John Deere was long there. And there has been live streams all along, and there is content out there now at the minute as well. If you really want to look it up, but it's only kind of like pre-release stuff. They don't have the full game yet. And um, there's going to be like a release day patch, so everything you see, you take with a grain of salt so to speak uh, things can change ever so slightly or whatever Joska, we've got that new tanker, I think that wasn't there before John's Red Shrimpy, I don't know if we had that finished, I don't know anymore Agriliner Crone I don't know what was missing out of that there's just so much stuff Coon, okay now I know, now I know where we're Wait, I knew we were still here. So I think that's new. So that's the ripper or the subsiders, yeah. So a subsider, they replace plows if you don't want to use a plow. Same thing. And hmm, that's it. Don't think that was there, and maybe the sprayer or something else. Not very interesting. Lily, or oh, there I have one thing because they're obtained by Fent or sorry Agco, so they're just kind of fading away at the minute. Uh, man, 
Another American trailer, Lizard. What's going to be the finish of Lizard? Oh, to, oh, that was actually finished, wasn't it? Or maybe that conveyor belt wasn't there. So conveyor belts are back again. Um, nobody really used them after. Not a whole pile. They kind of came and went. Michelin, oh my. There's some nice tires there now. Um, yep, they've got tires. What can we say? So Michelin and Trailer Borg are in the game, of course. You can pick... Uh, which tires you want under most things? Oh, what? Another tire brand? I didn't know that. What are they? M I T S Mitis. Mitis. I don't know. So they've got a few tires. Looks like kind of old and small equipment they're focusing on. New Holland. Um, they were finished before, were they? Yep. They've got all their stuff there. This is new. Oh. And. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce that. No kind. So they're providing the road tires. They're like I think they're supposed to be one of the leading road tire manufacturers actually as well. I uh, did look them up once before like road tires and they just seem to be very popular. Ropa, do we have that yoke for yeah this thing? This thing will load uh, silage and all that, so it'd be really handy there for loading out of uh, silage pits. Rua for that first start to cultivator. It looks really light there and spindly and crap. But in game it actually looks a small bit better. It's one of the starting pieces of equipment in the easy preset. Ponty was long since finished. Pottinger Stanford Yep, there's nothing I don't know that's jumping out with me as we didn't have before. It's kind of all there wasn't it Silo King, Stara, ATM all the weights were there Strudman, Stoll that looks new nope weirder Trailborg are providing I think most of the tires and then Mitchin are coming in close second Uh, TT, this is new. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> so this is kind of, I don't know, this is more of a seat tender, but I think it can be used as a, an overloader as well. Vaderstad. Uh, Velazhdov. Valtra, the S-series is in. I've been calling it for three weeks now, two, three weeks. Uh, Vish, I don't know how we pronounce that. That tank is back in. Vikan. There's... Wilson traders, that header thing, and the Zoom hammers are back again. So that's actually a nice tank. Enjoy that tank. So that's all the equipment, all the maps, um, fruit types. Did they show us the symbols from? They don't. It's stupid. Uh, so we've got barley, canola, corn, cotton, grass, oats. I was about to say horses. <laughs> Uh, oil seed radish for fertilizing only, not for harvest. Popular potatoes, soybeans, sugar beet, sugar cane, sunflowers, and wheat. So we've got a hell of a lot of um, of uh, crops this time. Animals. This is interesting. So we've got chicken, cow, horses, pigs, and sheep. But you can actually pick what kind of chickens and cows and pigs and whatever else you want so you can literally pick do you want white pigs or semi I don't know what the, the breeds pigs are and uh, black pink white lightly spotted heavily spotted and you got the same with your cows you can pick all the different colors of cows and horses too and sheep uh, not 100% sure about the chickens um, I yeah I'm pretty sure you can actually uh, and you got Smisk, nope. Equipment, harvesters, nope. That's everything. And like I said, I'll be doing a live stream at 11 o'clock ish Monday night GMT on Farm Sim as soon as I have downloaded after the release. So thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time. But until probably Monday, bye for now.